Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Hospitalogy. This is Rajni. This video is very special because this is my first video. Yes, this channel is very new and I've created this channel to share my knowledge and experience with all of you. Today I'm going to take you through how to calculate occupancy percentage, ADR, REVPAR and REVPAR. First, let's understand why are we calculating this. Every business or an establishment has its purpose which is primarily to make a profitable business. But how do you know whether the particular establishment is making a profit or not? That's why industry has come up with something called KPI, which is Key Performance Indicator, which is like a health card of human being. However, this health card differs business to business based on the nature of the business. The KPI for hotel industry are many. However, today we're going to discuss the key four parameters. The very first one is occupancy percentage. We do occupancy percentage to understand how many rooms occupied on a particular day. So the formula is number of rooms sold divided by total of number of rooms available, which is a total inventory times 100. So for example, hotel hospitality is 120 rooms hotel. And the hotel did 60 rooms occupied on the particular day. So the formula 60 rooms divided by 120 times 100 which comes to 0.5 which comes to 50 percentage the next one is average daily rate there are many who calls ARR which is average room revenue but the formula remains same room revenue divided by room sold and we calculate ADR to understand what is the revenue from an occupied room on a particular day so let's take an example again Hotel Hospitalogy did 50% occupancy which is 60 rooms out of 120 and uh, the hotel generated revenue of $4,800 which means $4,800 divided by 60 rooms which is coming to $80 per occupied room. Remember when we calculate ADR we always exclude house use and complementary rooms. Now let's look at what is Revpar. REVPAR is revenue per available room. In earlier slide, which is ADR, we understand how much revenue is generated from an occupied room. Wherein here, we are going to look at what is the revenue generated from a room which is even unsold. So in this case, we take total inventory, which is occupied plus unsold rooms. Again, so the hotel date 4800. And the total inventory of the hotel is 120. So $4,800 divided by 120, which means each room has generated a revenue of $40, which includes even unsold. Next is Traupar, which is total revenue per available room. The formula total revenue divided by total number of rooms available. Remember, in earlier slides, ADR occupancy, we calculated total room revenue. Wherein here we have taken total revenue, which means any revenue generated from a particular room, like through FNB, a guest went to the restaurant and had a meal, or the guest went to the spa and used, and any other excel revenue, even a mini bar included. So in this case, the hotel has generated seventy-two hundred dollar as a total revenue, and the hotel has one twenty rooms, so which means each room has generated revenue of $60. Now, it's a question time for you. Can Rupa be higher than ADR? Think and register your answer through comments and I'll share answer in my next video. I hope you guys like my video. Please share to our fellow hoteliers and comment if you want to learn any specific topic. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe and click bell icon to receive a notification whenever there is a new video on the channel thank you everyone for watching take care